Hi there! In this video we're going to talk about how to simplify a radical and what does that mean? That what we're going to do is underneath a square root we're going to break it down um, and these square roots in them are also going to have variables too. So we're going to talk about how to simplify the numbers underneath the square root and the variables and we're going to use the factor tree method. So what we want to remember when we're doing this is what our prime numbers are. So remember a prime number is a number that only one times itself gives you that number. So I just made a list. Usually you don't really have to know any higher than 11. Um, but here's the list of prime numbers. So I have four examples for you. So let's get to work. Okay, so when we're doing a factor tree, we're going to look at the numbers and we're going to look at the variables individually. So when I'm breaking down my number, I want to pick any number besides the 1 times 54 that multiplies to 54. So I'm just going to pick 2. So I'm going to say, all right, 54 divided by 2 gives me 27. Now 2 is a prime number, so I underline it, so I know that I can't go any far in that branch of my tree. So give me two numbers that multiply to 27. 9 times 3. 3 is a prime number, so I underline that, so I know that I can't break that down anymore. But I can break down 9. What multiplies to 9? 3 times 3. Okay, now, because this is a square root and the number right here is really a 2, even though it's not written, I have to have two of a kind of the same prime number in order to remove it from my square root. So I have, here's a pair of 3s. So what happens is, I can take a 3 out. Oops, let me leave some more space. I can take a 3 out, and then these guys right here, this 3 and this 2, go back in because they don't have any matches. So I have a 3 times a 2. Okay, now I just broke down my number. Now I have to break down my variable. So what I'm going to do is we know that u to the 13 literally means I have 13 u's. So I'm going to write them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, and I'm going to count pairs. So I have one pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs, six pairs. I have six pairs of u's, so that means I can take out a u to the sixth. And what am I left with? I have one u, so this one goes here, right back inside. So anything that's left inside my radical, I'm going to multiply together. So my final answer is 3u to the 6 times the square root of 3 times 2, 6u. Final answer. Okay, let's try another one. 12v to the 8th. So I'm going to break down 12. Any two numbers that multiply to 12. Well, how about 4 times 3? You could choose 6 times 2. Um, it will give you the same result because you're breaking it down into prime factors. 3 is a prime number. So what multiplies to 4? 2 times 2. Okay, so I have a pair of 2s. So that means I can bring out a 2. And my 3 goes back inside my square root. Okay, now I have to write my v's out. I got 8 v's, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I got 1, 2, whoops, 2, 3, 4. I have 4 pairs, so this becomes v to the 4th. I have no leftover v's, so I don't have any v's that go back inside my square root. So my final answer here is 2v to the 4th times the square root of 3. All right. Now I have two more practice for you, one with an um, even number of exponents or variables underneath the square root and then one with an odd number. This is a really good time for you to stop the video and practice these ones on your own and I'll go ahead and work out the solution. Okay, what multiplies to 32? Well, how about 2 times 16? And you could pick other numbers. What multiplies to 16? I'm going to go 2 times 8. What multiplies to 8? 2 times 4. What multiplies to 2? Two? 2 times 2. Okay, so I have 
one pair of twos, two pairs of twos. So I'm going to bring out two pairs of twos, two squared, or you could even write it out as two times two. Um, and then I have 16 X's, so I'm going to write them all out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight pairs of X's, so this would be X to the eight, and I forgot this guy right here. We have a lonely guy that needs to go right up here, so my final answer is four X to the eight times the square root of two. Okay, last one. The square root of 48 X to the 11th. Let's break it down. What multiplies to 48? How about six times eight? What multiplies to six? Two times three. What multiplies to eight? How about two times four? And what multiplies to four? Two times two. Okay, so I have one pair of twos, two pairs of twos, and a three left over. So I have two twos outside, a three left over on the inside, and I have 11 X's. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I have one, two, oops, you can't see that very good, sorry. One, two, three, four, I have five pairs. So this would be X to the fifth, and this lonely guy right here goes back in here underneath the square root. So my final answer, I multiply the two times two, four X to the fifth times the square root of three X. Final answer. Hopefully that helped you. Good luck, and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.